Hi there, this is Kara with Byte Stand. In this video, we will go over a basic flex setup and how to set up your manual shipping rates within the app and inside of Shopify. With the manual fixed rate option inside of the app, it's up to you to decide what to charge your customers for shipping rates, not Amazon. And creating your rates is a two-step process. Your rate options must be created inside of the app and then your rate names and shipping costs are created inside of your Shopify shipping profile. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We do need to complete a step before we start creating rates. Let's get started with the Flex button. Flex gives a store the ability to assign multiple locations to products in Shopify. No matter what, you must set up this page, as Flex helps all stores, and specifically stores that ship some products through Amazon and some products through a 3PL or manually themselves, stores that participate in the Amazon MCF program in multiple countries and wish to track location-specific inventory levels per product, stores that want to sell pre-order items and wait to send the fulfillment request to Amazon, stores that participate in Amazon's Buy with Prime integration, and stores that want to turn on automatic fulfillment for Amazon products only, or even stores that use Amazon's MCF program in some countries, but not all. Those are some of the main options. So after hearing all of the ways this exciting feature helps your business, let's discuss the page navigation and basic setup. You've got the app menu to your right, and when you hover over the purple bar, it will expand. At the top, you can press this button to update your products from Shopify to the app. Utilize this button when you add new products to Shopify, change SKUs, or edit product titles. You cannot edit product data inside of the app. Saying that, the app will pull your product's information from the store's Shopify product page. Notice the columns labeled Title, SKU, Handle Fulfillment, and Automatic Fulfillment. We will go over each of these shortly. You can make mass selections and edits to products by using the Edit Selected SKUs or Advanced Search and Edit buttons. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, notice the Product Count, Page Navigation buttons, and how to expand the amount of products per page. Moving right along, let's learn about the Handle Fulfillment column. All stores will need to assign a Amazon Marketplace or Marketplaces to your products in this column. Yes, multiple marketplaces can now be selected for one product. This provided information is what tells ByteStand and Shopify who is essentially in charge of the products. For example, if ByteStand is supposed to send the product to Amazon for fulfillment in your orders, then you will want to select your Amazon Marketplace for that product. And if you have products that the MCF shipping app should not send to Amazon, then you need to leave this column blank. Don't forget to press save before you navigate away from this page. Yes, even if our app and Amazon manages all of your Shopify products, you will need to set this page up. See how I select all of my products, select my Amazon Marketplace, and turn on automatic fulfillment for all of them? For a simple store setup like this example, that is all there is to the Flex page. If you have a more complex setup and you need to get creative with Flex, please see our YouTube playlist for Flex. You can find the link in the description of this video. But before we move further in the app setup, let's check one setting inside of your Shopify settings. To prevent future issues, the store will need to turn off the Shopify automatic fulfillment settings. In Shopify, please navigate to your settings, check out, and order processing. Select do not fulfill any of the orders line items automatically and press save, as the app will now control which products are automatically fulfilled, if not all of them. This means any products that you allow us to manage and you've checked automatic fulfillment on um, in the app, those orders will be automatically set to in progress in Shopify, while all other items in the order that the app is not managing will sit in a unfulfilled status in the order. If this setting is kept on in Shopify, it will cause order issues in the future. Okay, now that Flex is set up correctly and the automatic fulfillment in your Shopify settings has been disabled, let's start creating your shipping rates. From the home page, click on Rates. This is where you will build your rate options. Let's click on Add New Rate. And this video will be based on a U.S. marketplace. We will build three rate cards one at a time. 
Notice how I select the marketplace and the type of rate on the rate card. Do this with yours as well. The next section allows you to name your shipping rate options anything you would like. You can even include fixed time frames like this. Um, keep in mind you can come back to your rate options at any time and adjust them in the app as well. After you've chosen the name of your rate, we now need to map the rate to a word that Amazon will understand. In most marketplaces or countries, Amazon will allow you to offer up to three different types of shipping rates. Those are standard, expedited, and priority. Keep in mind, in countries like the UK, you will only have the options of standard and expedited. Our map to Amazon rate section allows you to translate the words that the customer sees at checkout to one of the words that Amazon understands, which are standard, priority, or expedited. So the customer will see this at checkout, but in the back end, ByteStand will translate that title to standard, for example, to ensure Amazon will accept the order. Make your selection and press save. You can now create two additional rate cards for the expedited option and or the priority shipping option. Make sure to press save at the end of each rate card. And once completed, we're going to exit out of the app to focus on the product adjustments. During this next step in Shopify, click on products. You can look at your products one at a time like this or use Shopify's bulk editor. Watch as I navigate to Shopify's bulk product editor. I use this page to look at the product SKUs in bulk. It is important that the products Shopify SKUs match their SKUs from Amazon Seller Central. ByteStand cannot use a product's FN SKU, ASIN, ISBN, or anything else. If the SKUs do not match in Shopify, the store will need to grab the correct SKUs from Amazon and paste them to the correct product listings in Shopify and press save. Now, leaving the bulk editor behind, let's look at the products one by one. This is what a Shopify product listing will look like when ByteStand is the only location assigned to it. And this is what a product listing will look like if the store has a more complex setup, meaning that ByteStand and other locations are assigned to the product listing. You can add or edit locations to products in here. Once you've confirmed that your product SKUs match from Amazon to Shopify and that ByteStand is at least one of your product's inventory locations in Shopify, then you are finished with the product setup. Lastly, let's navigate inside of Shopify to your shipping profile. Click on settings in the lower left hand corner and then click on shipping and delivery. All stores have a general shipping profile and usually all of the store's products are naturally added to the general shipping profile. You will click here to open this up. Scroll down to shipping origins and look for the location or locations of ByteStand. If a bite stand location is not in this area, you must add it. Scroll to the bottom of the page and look for not shipping from. More than likely, this is where you will find your new bite stand location or locations. Click add rates and keep the selection as is and press done. Scroll to the top and now your new bite stand location or locations will be in the shipping origins. Here you will ensure you have set up your shipping zone for the country or countries you've previously connected in the app, also called marketplaces. And now create your shipping rates one at a time, keeping in mind to title your shipping rates with the same titles you created previously inside of the app. Your rate titles and your Shopify shipping profile must match the rate name defined in Shopify section in the app. Press save and now you have completed the setup inside of the MCF shipping app and inside of Shopify. Now is a great time to test your new setup. To test this, go to the front end of your website and place a product in your cart. Proceed to checkout and then enter in a real shipping address and continue to payment. Within a few seconds, you'll see shipping rates appear on the screen. Pretty cool. And just like that, you are ready to receive orders and send them for fulfillment to Amazon using the ByteSand MCF shipping app. Happy shipping!